What's up, guys? I'm always getting inspired. I have a little moment here and I wanna make a quick video. Why does negativity win? Because we feed it. That's the only way it wins. And when we feed it, we let it in. You think about it. How have we been conditioned since we were younger with the media? And the news always feeds on, what is it, 90, 95% of suffering? So when you think about negativity, I took some notes here. And when you're working on being positive, you can't go wrong navigating from the heart. When you focus on your heart, you, you have somebody that says something negative. How many of us, we want, we have a tendency to feed into the gossip because it's something to talk about. And those are folks that talk about other people instead of concepts and ideas. And these are some things I speak about all the time. We instinctively do not want to let go of our old self. Our old self is we've actually programmed, programmed that I made a video and I'll make a note of the video or the uh, link underneath about why your brain is the way it is ever since you were a little kid. By the time you were like 10 years old, you're already wired on who you're gonna be. So that program is doing everything and anything to actually protect you from becoming a different you because it thinks that that programming's the best for you. So when you get really connected, say you get connected into the grid, into up there, a higher power, something bigger than us. That's abundance. And when we think of abundance and you feel the vibe, like I'm feeling a good vibe right now, but part of me has apprehension and anxiety because I know that there's people gonna judge the things that I'm saying. And that's exactly what's wrong with today's world is that we're too damn worried about what everybody else thinks instead of just being our true blue self, connecting up to the grid, connecting in the grid whatever you want to call the higher power, God, universe, whatever you want to call it. And when you get that love in your heart and you know that there's so much out there, you just want to share it with everyone else. You want to say, hey, come on, come on, come get some of this because there's so much, there's so much to go around. Why do I help people to the extent that I help people? Don't mind me, I'm taking notes because I really care. And you know what, in today's society, everybody has a motive, an ulterior motive. They do things because they want things, and that's called with them, what's in it for me? A lot of people in today's society, they don't just do it because they just wanna help people. And I'm fortunate enough to have a profession where I actually get paid to help people. But I tell you what, I know for one damn thing, for sure, I go above and beyond and I always give more of myself to help people that, that want to be helped. And sometimes I see good people that are doing bad things or negative attitudes or behaviors and I do my best to help them eliminate those things and, and those people have a tendency to push back. But eventually, if I keep fighting, some of those people actually get it. Because there's a lot of times in my past where I had good people fighting for me and I didn't want to hear it. And I didn't learn those lessons until 10, 20, freaking 30 years later. And then what happens is we have these life of, this life of regrets. And if a coulda, shoulda, woulda. I had a teacher that said to me, if if was a fifth, we'd all be drunk. So why do we have to go through so much BS in life? Why do we have to go through so much drama and gossip and, and crap talkers and, and all these different things because if you believe in God or the universe is that it makes us appreciate those good folks when we come across them. Think about that for a minute. You know, you might think like you might lose a little bit of faith in humanity, which there have been times when I'm going, Jesus, is there anyone that's just not going to try and talk shit behind my back or betray me? And every once in a while, guess what? I come across a winner. I come across a winner and I go, you know what? This is why I'm not going to give up because you know what? I used to be one of those negative Normans. And what would happen if I would have gave up on myself? 
I wouldn't be able to deliver this message of positivity to you and everyone else. So take a moment, help lift somebody up. Give them love in your heart, support them, reach down and pull them up. Don't be the one that pulls somebody down. Be the one that helps uplift people. All right, say something kind, do something nice, be of service. Have a great day. Peace.